Hi students, welcome to Samachir Study YouTube channel. In this video, numerical problem number 2 is solved from unit 8 sound chapter in standard 9 science subject. Let us read the question. A stone is dropped from top of a tower 750 meter high into a pond of water at the base of the tower. Calculate the number of seconds for the splash to be here. Given g is equal to 10 ms power minus 2 and speed of sound is equal to 340 ms power minus 1. Okay students, first let us understand the concept of the question. The concept is there is a big tower, the height is 750 meters. The stone is the drop of the top of the tower to bottom. Okay, here at the base of the tower there is a pond. So, once the stone is touching the water, there is a sound wave produced on the surface of the water. That is known as splashing of water. Okay. Now, there is some time taken by the sound to reach the top from the base of the water. So, number of seconds for the splash to be heard. Abdeen Surna, in the stone top the base could travel the time plus in the sound to reach from base to top okay in the render time duration you need add panna the total time for the splash to be here to calculate panna mudiyo. okay so ippo vandu nama rendu terms calculate panna paro enna na t1 abdi ingradu time taken by the stone to fall from top to the base of the water that is t1 aduthu enna ho immediately it touches the this stone touches the water and the sound wave is produced on the surface of the water so splashing happens so the time taken by the sound to reach the top from the base of the water is t2 so t1 no t2 wo calculate panna porom rendu add panna no we can find the number of seconds for the splash to be here calculate pannalam okay so t1 t2 calculate pandrathu eppadi paarenga idhula stone mel irundhu the base reach aagradhukku evlo time varum nu calculate panna no so that is very simple from unit 2 motion chapter we know the equations of motion just paarenga adavadhu an object in motion with initial velocity u attains the final velocity v in time t due to acceleration a and reaches the distance s yes, idu already padichirukringa ninga moon equations of motions so nama padichirukrom idhula the second equation of motion which has the distance s yes, initial velocity u and the acceleration terms so in the second equation da namakku in the problem thala, time calculate pannarathukku use aagudhu okay so according to the second equation of motion we can write s is equal to s is distance that is equal to u into t1 yana nama t1 t2 nu rendu times calculate panna porom adanal difference pandri kaatradhukaga first time t1 nu eduthirukrom so u t1 plus half into a t1 square and the a ingradha inga eppadi represent pannirukrom g what is g g is acceleration due to gravity in the concept padi stone is dropped from top to bottom so idhula enna acceleration irukum this acceleration is due to gravity only okay adanal da a ingrada g ingra term la eludirukrom and g value is given as 10 ms power minus 2 adanal direct nama inga g value substitute pannirlam okay so here the initial velocity is zero stone mail and drop ahumbodhu. there is no initial velocity at the top that is u value was zero and substitute pannyachi. we know the height other than distance traveled by the stone so 750 equal to 5 t1 square Apo t1 square 750 divided by 5 that is 150 so t1 square 150 now without a square root calculate panna we can get the t1 value so t1 value is 12.25 seconds so first part over then second part in a time taken by the sound to reach the top from the base of the tower so base layer in the top the sound wave travel pannudhu so idoda formula namakku theriyum we know speed is equal to distance divided by time namakku vendiyadhu time of the sound wave traveling so time equal to distance divided by speed in the speed inga varudha time the side varu so time equal to distance divided by speed 
So distance is 750 and the height of the tower. Speed 340 that is also given in the problem. Speed of sound is 340 ms power minus 1. Okay. So we can substitute 750 divided by 340. The answer is 2.2 second. Okay. So finally the splash is heard at the top after time t equal to t1 plus t2. T1 value is 12.25 plus T2 2.2. So total time number of seconds for the flash to be heard is 14.45 seconds. This is the answer. Okay. Once again students very simple concept. So we have to find the time duration that is the number of seconds for the splash to be heard. So it consists of two parts. First one is the time taken by the stone to fall from top to base. T2 is the time taken by the sound to reach the top from the base. So, there are two time durations by using the equations of motion. Number two, second equation, we can find T1 and the general equation of time equal to distance divided by speed, we can find the second time duration. If you are adding these two components, you can find the total number of seconds. Okay, very simple concept and easy problem. You can do it and get full marks. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and share it to your friends.